Hi, in today's video lecture, we are going to cover charting primitives. Basic charting primitives are five data points, line charts, bar charts, pie chart, and area chart, out of which we are going to only cover in today's video data points and line charts in detail. What is visual data spectrum? While we are trying to choose the right representation of a data, it is just like being a child and walking into a toy store for very first time. There are so many shiny and attractive options from which we have to choose. Whether we are going with basic building blocks such as pie chart or pie chart, or we can go more sophisticated chart like 3D timeline or infographics, its selection depends on many factors. To make sure that you are making the correct selection of data's representation, it is important to understand full range of choices which are available to you. So let us understand what are charting primitives. Being a graphic artist, drawing primitives are four elements such as points, lines, rectangles, oval, arcs. All these are four elements and they are called as drawing primitives in the language of graphic artist. Same elements if applied to data visualization, we are called as charting primitives. So points, lines, rectangles and shapes are actually charting primitives in a context of data visualization. This collection includes most familiar members such as plotted points, line charts, bar chart, pie chart and area chart. Many options are design oriented. You can choose from 2D and 3D but it is important that for crucial representation of sophisticated data it must get represented in a meaningful way. First representation is data point. It is the most basic form of charting primitive. A data point is a single element which is plotted on a graph having x and y axis. That's why, say example, this particular chart. We have an x axis which is showing some numerical values and y axis also showing some numerical values. For some x values, there are particular y values which is being represented by a single data point marked with an X. So there are in total seven data points marked over this particular example. For X and Y axis over which we have plotted, they are also called as XY charts. Plus they are appearing like dots which are scattered over some plane is that's why they are also referred as scattered charts. It is important to note that data point requires two numeric values. Unlike some other charts which might not require two numeric values. To draw a data point chart, we always must have a data for which we have two types of numeric values. One value can be represented over x-axis and another one can be represented over y-axis. Whatever the data points we have plotted, is used to show or to identify interconnection between these set of data points. The interconnection between these data points is called as correlation. Now what is correlation? If data points on a graph appears very randomly without any particular pattern, we say there is no correlation among the data set. There is a positive correlation in a data set when value generally increases together for both of the axes. If a value on x-axis is going to increase, we will surely have some 
in a value of y axis. So in this case, data points will be plotted in a particular upwave fashion. That is called as positive correlation among the data set. Second type is negative correlation, in which value from one axis is going to get increased, will also be decreased value from another axis. If one value is going down, another axis value is going up. So this kind of negative correlation is showing the axis like this way. There is also one to one correspondence. That means if one value is increased over x axis, can either increase or decrease exactly one value over the y axis. So that is called as correlation is perfect. Say for example in this chart, positive correlation is perfect. Because for every increase in x, there is some increase in y. While negative correlation is not perfect because increase in value of x may or may not decrease the value of y. There do exist some other type of correlation which is non-linear or may take some curvature or arc-like form. We call those kind of correlation as non-linear correlation. Now what is a line chart? When you connect two data points over the, to make a continuous line over your chart, we have already one segment in a line chart. Line chart is the most common form and it is the basis for other chart types like area chart, stacked line chart and perfect chart. A single data series is rendered as a one line from moving one point to point. So if we have three collection data set, one data set is plotted and its data lines are connected. That will give us one line which is representing one data set. Then we will take another data set, plot its data points and draw a line which is joining those data points will give us the second line which is representing second data set and so on we can represent n type of data sets represented by n lines over the line chart. Line chart we can also use markers to highlight some important data points. Generally, to depict the data points over the time, line chart is used in a breadth form to effectively find the trend line. Say for example, stock price charting, in which line chart is depicting numerous ways to represent day-to-day -day change and a percentage change over a sum median or a middle value over the particular period. The period of in a form of month or date is represented over x-axis and a percentage change in a stock price is represented as a y-axis. So we can find out over which period stock price are below the average and over what dates or period stock prices are above an average median value. This is an example of Apple company over a period of 200 days which provides important information in a form of line chart. Now consider this example. Here we have in a single chart there are multiple lines which is represented in a different color. So variations of line in a form of color, they are weight, that means its boldness, and the type of line such as solid line, dotted line, dashed line are used in a combination or simply with these values we can use to depict the different data series which is following different data sets. In this particular figure, it is a line chart with 5 data series or 5 data sets which is represented by five different colors and their different placement. This is a measure of Amazon stock prices over the 
various five years. So red line is showing the Amazon stock price in 2030. Blue line is the stock price of Amazon company in 2012. Green line is basically uh, Amazon's uh, stock price in 2011. Pink line is for 2010 and 2009 is represented by green line. Another technique is to apply different markers in a line chart to identify the data points. These markers can take different shapes like square, triangle, diamond. In this particular example, data are marked with red triangle. So these tiny red triangles are actually clearing some data points which is when user hovers or when user clicks a particular data point, it will reveal its value at that particular point. They are an example of interactive line chart. Now these line charts are the variations of basic line chart. They are also called as stacked line chart, which is actually displaying one data set over another data set which actually includes same x-axis but having different y-axis say for example for a company we want to show in a 12 month what is the profit they have made in each month what is the turnover they have done in each month as well as their manpower which is incurred in each month so here the stock price is actually going first slot. The topmost line chart is a profit data showing the revenue of a company. The second section or the middle chart line chart is giving the percentage of market share in a same year month-wise. And the third or the last line chart is for the same company the number of human power or number of employees are working in a company so the profit data is given in a form of dollar or rupees over a y-axis the percentage of market share is actually the percentage over the y-axis and employees are in a form of thousands or in a form of hundreds to show manpower of a company what is the common between all these three line chart that this line chart is depicted or shown only for a single company and they are also showing the data for a same year which is categorized by month. So in this kind of chart we have three different measuring units over the y-axis yet visual comparison is made with the help of stack the line chart where the pattern and trends can be identified. Another form of line chart is arcing the line which is called as curved chart. Your curves are actually giving us the smooth appearance of a line. So these line type of chart are called as spline charts or curved line charts. The smoothness of the curve over the data points is actually achieved using some mathematical function. So obviously mathematical function is there, so there will be some kind of error. So we can apply polynomial, quadratic, exponential or some kind of periodic mathematical function so that the smoothness of line can be seen over the surface. So to convert a straight line in a curved format, line chart is using those mathematical functions called as curving function which might introduce some approximation in the data which is losing the preciseness of data or we can say that data is not precise as an input in a curved line chart. In some application, these preciseness of data is not that important and approximated data is acceptable. Only those kind of application can use curved or spline chart. That is all for today's video. In our next video, we will study remaining types of chart.
starting for details thank you everyone for watching this video this is munira dubia signing out Thank <music> you.